Yes. Who started a walk for education? I started back about maybe six, seven years ago. I just met Kelly Thompson. She, she was saying how she remembers fondly how walking down the street and you know all of us cheering up, you know, you know, well, let's stay in school and uh, for who it is what education is for youth. It started with with uh, with one of our own. Uh, a young girl that grew up in Burgundy and, and uh, she actually is an engineer so she went to McGill she, her name is Charmaine Primo and basically she initiated that because she wanted to really uh, bring all the kids to, to know that they can stay in, education is important that they should stay in school and uh, just do like her so she initiated that she came to see Willie from Youth Emotion and then it was brought to me Youth Emotion as the director and I brought it to to the rest of the community and to the coalition and to the the youth committee so youth emotion was very instrumental in, in getting this thing started for many years in the beginning and now we see it it's snowballed and it's it's just wonderful now she's a she works for Microsoft in Texas correct yeah. correct and we're well, very proud of her okay. um, do you think a welfare education will have a positive influence on the kids or how would it influence the kids? Absolutely, just walking through the streets of Little Burgundy, sending out the message, visiting the different organization. We see again today, there's a large number of, of young, of, of youth with us, walking that really believe. Um, we'd like to even see more, so. In the next five years, where do you see it going? The walk for education in Little Burgundy. We hope it for it to continue for forever. We hope that the, the ones that the most at risk, the most vulnerable ones, the ones that actually drop out, maybe they could get uh, um, an idea to go back to school and or anything. If it can influence them in a positive way to see that education is crucial all around, all along our lives. Even us as grown up, we still need to be educated. So it's it's for everyone. But I hope it stays forever. Long live Walk for Education. And the last question is, what are the challenges nowadays for kids to stay in school? Peer pressure, media, Ooh. social media. What yeah, the, the whole bullying and you know peer pressure, as you've just ma named it, are very, very. Uh, <laughs> are very uh, prevalent and, and they can really damage you in a way where you want to dis they could discourage you or even get you suicidal depressed in a way where you just want to leave that school so and it happens more frequently than we think so i think in that way we have, we have to really be aware and send a message to the kids that uh whatever pressure they feel in school they should be able to report it to their parents to, to the teacher to the principal to uh someone that can really help them out even a friend sometimes it can be helpful because all kind of uh, things happen intimidation violence physical violence verbal violence uh different kind of abuse um, and so nothing is tolerated but as we say it a lot is happening so we have to really us adults really have to beware and 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 stay on top of, of uh, all these situations that can arrive at any time with any child so so we really have to listen to the youths when they tell us something because they'll, they'll reveal us exactly what is happening often the signs of what is about to arrive uh, often is there their science whether it's on Facebook social media uh, a, a child saying mentioning something and we should read those signs as adults as responsible uh, grown-ups working around uh, youth we, we really need to be uh, to be with their ear uh, listening so that we can sometimes really prevent and help them through uh, growing up and becoming uh, responsible adults Thank you very much. Uh, Kevin, um, who presently is is managing a walk for education? Uh, it's being uh, put on by uh, the Little Burgundy uh, Youth Committee in collaboration with NSBE, which is National Society for Black Engineers. Yeah. Okay, and. Um, in, in today's time, what are the challenges for youth to stay in school? I think um, there are multiple challenges. Uh, I was reading a, a book that talked about the influences on young people uh, in the 1950s. And back then the influences were 
home was their primary influence, the school, the church, and the peer group. Today it's completely inverted. The strongest influence on young people is the media, second is the peer group, and then the home. And the school comes in a distant fourth. So um, given that those facts, then it's a serious challenge in terms of trying to get young people to focus on school. Very good, very good. And you, how do you think a walk for education will help the people and the youth? Okay, I feel like it's uh, a good opportunity for the kids because first they're still young and uh, us as an NSP, the National Black Student Society of Miguel, we are targeting um, the kids from uh, the disprivileged backgrounds because most of the times no one tells them about what to do when they go to university. They're so limited on advice from parents because maybe none of uh, their family members has gone to university it's the first time for them probably and so when we do a walk for education and just talk to them generally about the opportunities available in uni and uh, where the world is headed we open their eyes and we make them see and probably they can develop interest on uh, some of the fields that we tell them about like if they like building cars and then we tell them that engineering is the career for you and so when they come to uni they at least know what they want to do and it's best for them to choose the right direction where they want to go to and that eases their life and at least it makes them choose the right yeah. career for them yo 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 we're doing an interview man Shh. and lastly why is it important for our youth to, to stay in school? Mm, first, uh, it's good to be educated because from education you're able to get knowledge and then from, edu from knowledge education is and knowledge is power and from education you're able to learn a lot and meet these people and also you're able to understand the world in a bigger perspective and then you see how you can be able to participate in making a change in um, the world uh, in general. And also, you get respect from uh, education and you're also able to get a job when you've gone to school. Because if you don't go to school, you won't be able to get a job and that means you will live a bad life. And uh, education is the only thing that is equal it gives everybody an equal opportunity because you might be coming from a poor background but when you get educated you're able to get a better job and education doesn't choose if you go for it then you get an equal opportunity same as the other person from anywhere in the world so it's important for children or kids or everybody to be educated to make the world a better place and also easy for communication I think, I think that's beautiful what she said. Uh, I would say this way that education is the biggest equalizer mm. in terms of social uh, inequalities. Like there are people that are rich that live in our society and there are people that are poor that just don't have the, the financial means. But with education, you can change you can change that relationship. So you can go from being poor mm -hmm. to being someone who's really rich, you know? And uh, we've had several e examples from this neighborhood of people who've uh, gone to school, who've, who've become uh, engineers, for example, and who now maybe work for Microsoft or Google or something like that. And they're making uh, a lot of money and they are doing really well. Not just in terms of money, but education also. Um, it's an indicator of health. The more educated you are, the better health you have, the longer you live, you know? It just improves your total quality of life. So education is the greatest equalizer. And to add on top also, with the education, you can be able to change your home, where you're from. And also through education, you can create an opportunity for someone else. And um, when you create opportunity for the, so many people, you're inviting change into your home or your country and um, 
that's the that's real power that's power yeah and that's power when everyone is educated then there's a lot that we can do together yeah just just to add that knowledge is power and through education you can gain knowledge and by gaining knowledge you gain power so Jason why is education important? Because you get to learn about the school and life and stuff. And you could also um, learn knowledge and stuff. This is really good for you. School is it's really important for you. Okay. And um, nowadays, what are, the, what are the challenges that kids have to stay in school? Homework. Homework, exams, bullying, a lot of stuff. Okay, but explain. Bullying, like what? Intimidation of people, like example, people are saying, "Oh, look at your ugly shoes," or "Oh, what the hell is this shirt?" And stuff. I what I mean. You have nice shoes on, by the way. Thanks. Uh, lastly, do you know who started a walk for education? Um, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'll say, in my opinion, Rodney. Rodney teached a lot. Trust. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, Jason. You're welcome. We believe that uh, every kid should be allowed uh, the opportunity to actually like go to university and to be exposed to like science subjects because we've realized that a lot of the times uh, we've realized that a lot of the times uh, the kids from like uh, communities in Montreal they don't get the chance to be exposed to or like um, the opportunities that are out there. So as Nesby, we are trying to like get the information out there and allow the kids to actually know that they can actually be involved in science and technology and engineering and uh, mathematics. Yeah. And uh, we are working with all the communities uh, within Montreal to try and make sure that that thing happens. As you can see, the walks were for like education, to learn education for a work and places where you could go to learn stuff.